Hey guys, it's Drea. So this is one of those bad hair day type things. So I got a hat on. I know it doesn't happen very often, but you know, I'm not saying my hair is great all those times and I'm not wearing a hat. Okay, so this is a haul. <laughs> you were wondering why you came here listening to me ramble about my hat. But this is a haul. So I have a few things here. I've got one thing from Sephora. Can you believe it? Just one. Um, Shoppers, Walmart, Winners, and ColourPop. So this is kind of like a collective haul. The VIB sale is coming up this weekend and actually there's gonna be two weekends in a row of sales. So I'm sure I will have a huge haul from that. And I figured I have all this stuff sitting here. I better haul this and be able to start using it, put it away before I buy more stuff. So that's what I'm doing. Okay, so first of all, I bought this one thing from Sephora. I've been actually very good. They've been doing these weekend, no, not weekend, week of wows. So basically every Wednesday they slash prices on a bunch of products. The only thing I bought so far is this. This is the TARDIS Pro Glow Palette. There's only one cream product in here and it's this one right here, this cream contour. These four products are very shimmery. I'm not sure if this one's supposed to be a highlighter or a bronzer because it's very deep, but I guess like it is a palette. So of course it's supposed to cater to a bunch of skin tones. There it is there. Yeah, that would be a nice highlight on deeper skin tones. Anyway, so you've got four highlights, one contour um, powder, and then one cream contour. So I have only so far used the um, contour powder, and I did really like it when I used it. Now, I've been to Shoppers a few times over the last... Um, week basically Halloween you know I keep going to buy candy because I'm the kind of person when Halloween rolls around I'll buy like a huge box and then a little bit will get eaten here a little bit will get eaten there and like I want the kids to have at least three pieces of candy a piece I'm not that house that gives out one little piddly is that the right word one little tiny piece of candy like I want it to be worth their while to come to my house so I like to give every kid three pieces so I always end up buying way too much and I keep going back I'm like okay I don't have enough I need more so while I'm there of course I go to the makeup section this is my life so I've never seen wet n wild in shoppers before but they did have like a just a stand-up display for their Halloween stuff so I was able to get three new liquid cat suits from the Halloween collection this is not gonna look it's probably not gonna look right on camera. This is like a vibrant purple. In my viewfinder, it's looking blue. But anyway, this is just a bright blue and then black. I figured this would be great just to have a black liquid lipstick, which I don't even own one, and the formula of these are awesome. And then I figured these would be really fun just for like more editorial looks, just to have on hand. And you can always use liquid lipstick for other things, like you can use it to decorate your face if you want to. And they had a bunch of other stuff. They had the rainbow highlighter, I'm not so much into that, so I just left it behind. But they also had these loose pigments, and this one looked really pretty. So it says limited edition. I'm looking for a shade name. Okay, on the bottom, it says gold pigment. That's all it says, so I don't know if that's the name. It's got a little shaker, so that's kind of cool. There's a swatch of that. So, you know, pigments are always pretty messy. This isn't really any um, exception, but it's a really cool color. And, you know, it was wet and wild pricing, super cheap. So I thought I would give it a shot. And NYX also had a Halloween kind of display. Uh, first of all, they had this glitter. It is in the shade Ice, and it's kind of this iridescent duochrome glitter. Wow, so this is very, very fine. Can you see? Right there, very, very fine glitters. It looks like it's definitely a duochrome, really pretty. And they were clearancing out these Vivid Brights eyeliners. Now, I have the um, NYX Black Matte Liquid Liner. It is my holy grail. It's what I'm wearing right now on my eyes. I love that liquid liner. These are the exact same packaging, only they have the color on them. So this one is a blue, it's called Vivid Sapphire, and then this one is Vivid Blossom, which is kind of like a lilac purple. And I just thought, again, like, if I wanted to do something editorial, something fun, these would be great to have on hand. They were only $2 a piece, and they're like the same brush as the black I own, um, and it seems to be pretty much the same formula as well. Okay, I swatched this in store, had a conniption, 
asked the girl to buy it and she's like, I don't have any more of that. And I had to track it down at different um, shoppers across my city. And I ended up finding it. The girl in the place I found it said they only got two in the whole store. I have both of them, one for a friend for Christmas who doesn't know she's getting it yet. So this is from Lee Swatier, which is a Canadian exclusive. I think you can kind of get it different places if you order online. Look at the packaging on this. It's so gorgeous. It's so glittery. Like this is just a pigment eyeshadow, but the packaging is just so pretty. So this is in the shade Firework. Um, if you are in Canada and you want this, you're gonna have to probably track it down. I looked on the Beauty Boutique online and they had the blush, which also looks really gorgeous, but they didn't have any of these yet. So I don't know if the Bay is gonna get it. They have Lee Swatier, but anyway, I'm going on and on, but look at this. It's just this gorgeous pink, fully pigmented metallic wonderment. It's just so pretty. My camera lately with close-ups has been killing me, but I think you can see just how pretty that is. So I think you can see why I wanted to track this down. It's just, exciting. It's unlike anything I've ever really seen. It's kind of similar to the L'Oreal Infallible, only in the little uh, container here. It's much chunkier, like very chunky, and maybe like kind of similar to the Giorgio Armani Eyes to Kill, but again, a little bit of a different formula. This is new. This is from the brand Annabelle, which again, Canadian company. I don't think I own anything from them, maybe like one lip product, but normally to me they are a very bland makeup line, and so nothing ever gets me excited, but this looked so pretty. This is an ombre blush. It says it is Marie Mai collection. I don't know if that's a person, but it's got this cool design on it, and it's in the shade Cobra. Kind of reminds me of those NYX ombre blushes. Yes, very beautiful. Not a winter shade, oh, but that's so pretty. Like, I bet you that sheared out on the cheeks is gonna look so gorgeous in the spring and summer. And then the last thing from Shoppers, I brought, I bought this Quo Solid Brush Cleanser. I've never tried it before. I've tried their liquid cleanser and I really like it, so I thought I would try this one. Okay, I went into Walmart, just a couple things, not too exciting, but I got some Neutrogena wipes. I've never tried these ones before, I don't think. So these are the Neutrogena all-in-one makeup wipes. I also got a couple things from e.l.f. So first of all, I have hardly any drugstore primers. You guys have heard me kind of complain about this on my channel, how I can never really find anything I like. So I thought I'd try one from e.l.f. This is the e.l.f. Mineral Infused Face Primer. I thought, you know, I like mineral primers sometimes, like the Hourglass one, so I'll give this one a shot. And then this is brand new. This is from a line called Beautifully Precise, which they had a whole bunch of brushes. None of them really spoke to me, so I left them all behind, but I did buy the sponge set. So it's the Beautifully Precise Precision Sponge Trio. So it looks like there's three different sizes in this. Let me know, should I do a first impression on this? I think this is a new product to the drugstore, so maybe you guys are interested, but let me know. Okay, I went into Winners, which is just like TJ Maxx. I checked out their makeup section. Couple things stood out to me. First of all, these are a brand called Fleek Lashes which I think is probably just generic branding because these look like the kind of lashes you can get for like a dollar um, from China. Anyway, they were five bucks, which is a little bit much for the kind of thing where you could pick it up for less. But the reason that I got these is because these remind me totally of the original Red Cherry Wispy lashes, which they don't make the same anymore. Like they make, Red Cherry makes Wispies, but they are completely different. These totally remind me of those. I've actually bought um, another set just like this and I've been wearing it and they feel so similar to the original Red Cherry. So I bought two of them now and I really, really like them. This was so random, you guys. I know Kat Von D stuff goes to TJ Maxx and Winners and whatever, but this is like old, old Kat Von D. So this is um, the Everlasting Face Shaping Bronzer in the shade Shady Business. It was $8 and it's like the old school Kat Von D packaging. So I figured for eight bucks, why not? Like I'll just try it. It's a bronzer. It's like a shimmery bronzer. It's very um, soft. There it is right there. I think that'll be a really good winter shade for me. It's not like glittery. It's just like a little bit of a satiny finish. 
So yeah, I would like to try that. That was just such a random find. And the last thing I bought from Winners was this. This is a Lancome blush. It's called the Blush Subtle Cream. It's in the shade 01 Coral. And I actually bought this thinking of a friend of mine who has a deeper skin tone. I was like, that would probably be really lovely. And then I got it home. It's just like ColourPop kind of packaging. Um, I got it home and it had been like messed with. And I was like, huh, can't give it as a gift if it's messed with. So I figured I would keep it for myself, but it's very bright. It's actually very, very similar to that Annabelle one but maybe a little bit more pink and a little bit, it de definitely a different formula. Like it's much creamier and this is definitely much more powder. But again, spring and summertime, I think it will be good. The last stuff is from ColourPop. Um, surprisingly, I didn't order any lip products this time. It's just eye stuff. I got two, I think these are new shades, two new shades of purple just in the pressed eyeshadow formula and one kind of shimmery um, champagne shade. So this is called Hung Up. This is Crown Jewel. This is called Now and Zen. This bottom shade is really beautiful. It reminds me of Kat Von D Thunderstruck from the Metal Crush line. It's got that kind of gold reflect to it a little bit. And then this is definitely much more of a vibrant purple. And this is a purple that definitely has um, kind of like brown undertones to it, but still in the purple family. I've ordered many pressed powder eyeshadows from ColourPop now, and they only just started doing this, where they're sending individual packages for the shadows. It's really nice packaging. It's just plastic, but it's really kind of sturdy and sleek, and it even has a mirror inside, but you're supposed to just pop this. That's a little magnet. You can pop them right in. Um, they do magnetize to each other, but in a weird way. So the magnets kind of meet at the front, and they kind of do that. So it's not like they actually snap together or anything like that. I think it's just the magnet inside is causing it to do that, but it's kind of weird the way it kind of flips and flops all over the place. Um, so, I mean, it's handy if it's like one or two and you just want individual packaging, but most of us, I think me for sure, I'm gonna put these in a Z palette. The other things I bought were a couple of their eyeshadow palettes. I finally, got the Yes Please palette. Like this thing keeps selling out over and over. I guess people are over it now because it tends to be in stock more often. But this is that very famous palette from the summertime that everybody was going crazy over. I am very happy to finally have this. I haven't even swatched it yet. There's an assortment of four of the shades right there. They look really nice. Like I've said it a million times, I love their pressed eyeshadow formula. I actually bought a second one for a future giveaway. So like I said, don't know when that will be, but it'll be coming up at some point. And then I got the My Little Pony palette. This was actually the reason for my entire order because I really wanted this. Um, Pure came out with a My Little Pony collaboration, but it's like the newer My Little Pony. And I'm not about that life. I am a child of the 80s, so this is my jam. I definitely had these original ponies, so this is the actual box, which is really cute. And then the actual packaging of it is just as nice. Like they full on went out. Does that even make sense? They went all out for this palette. Like it looks really nice, even on the inside. Super nice. And I think they're pretty wearable colors. Like, yes, you might be getting a little crazy with a color like this. You know, not everybody's going to want... A metallic lilac in their life but I think for the most part these are pretty wearable there's a random assortment of eight of the shadows I think just on first swatch they seem to be the exact same quality as their other pressed powder shadows this one here that is surprising that's that kind of silvery shade right there next to the black that looks beautiful and that lilac that metallic lilac looks really gorgeous too so that's it for my haul today I hope that you really enjoyed it leave me any questions if you have any in the comments below if you're new around here definitely subscribe I'd love to see you around in the future I put up three videos a week every Sunday Tuesday and Thursday so that you always have new content coming at you and that is it for today I love you guys I hope you're speaking kindly to yourself, treating yourself well. I will see you in my next video. Bye.